on some stuff etc yeah i've not done a live for ages so i thought to do a facebook live well apart from last night when i was going off but other than that i've not done facebook live for so long and i'm trying to get back into them um then like i can upload them onto my youtube channel as well um so yeah i just want to do a 2020 year in review basically 2020 sucked the end <laughs> I've, if I keep looking at it, it's because I've made some notes. Um, I'm actually, this is actually the blog that I uploaded as well. Um, but I've just got some notes because knowing me, I will forget things. And knowing my brain, I will forget things. This audio that I've got on, it's on that my uncle got me. And it's so warm. It's like so toasty. It's fleecy. But it's like toasty warm. So I'm snug as a bug in, snug as a bug in a rug right now. Okay, so I thought 2009 was the worst year of my life and I didn't think anything would be worse than 2009. But hello TikTok, <laughs> TikTok for my little dog, he's gone home to see to his cat and I'm going to take um, TikTok home tomorrow. Um, but yeah, um, 2009 was a off year and I didn't think anything could top 2009 or beat 2009 as being a bad year. I'm really sorry I forgot to turn the volume down but 2020 really has the difference between 2009 and 2020 is 2009 took but gave back. It took people out my life who I didn't want my life anymore. I didn't need in my life anymore. But <laughs> hi. And to there was a lot of people who went out my life, and but it gave people back to me, like Ali and Midnight, and a lot of the Blue Gillespie, um, Blue Gillespie fans, um, Torchwood fans, Doctor Who fans. It gave me an all new direction in life. Um, it gave me fandom. It gave me geekdom. It gave me things like that. But 2020 has just taken and taken and taken and taken. I think in 2020, I got to two conventions and two wrestling, <coughs> two wrestling shows in we all love this year and it was it's been weird because i'm used to going to wrestling every other month or every month and going to conventions at least every other month um normally how it worked out was there'll be a convention at be, either a convention at the beginning of the year beginning of the month sorry and then a wrestling event at the end of the month or other way around it convention um end of a month wrestling beginning and there might be like a day con in between or when i have the money there'll be like another wrestling show in between men so i'd go then but this year i think the only two comic cons i've been to was bolton which was amazing and um, ethan actually came to that comic con with me and i've taken him to comic cons before me and midnight to get to the very first one um, which was Wigan Comic Con a few years back. We took him to that. But I think around about that time, he was four. So he didn't really understand what was going on. <laughs> and then I Hi. took both in Comic Con and he loved it. He was like running around and looking at all the people in cosplay going, oh my God, look, that is that from that show or that character from this show or... And he was the one running up and asking for pictures of the people in cosplay. He might not have even known the show of the character, but he just loved seeing the people dress people in cosplay and things like that. So yeah, um Baltimore was amazing. I originally only went to meet Scorpio from Gladiators because 
I was a Gladiators fan as a teen, and I loved Gladiators. I, I, I was really into that before wrestling. And she was lovely. She was so nice. Um, she's rocking with a stick now, um, but. You know, she was she was an athlete, um, even as well as gladiators. Um, so yeah, I get I, I understood like she's probably got leg damage and things like that, so that's why she's walking with a stick. And then um uh, Midnight wanted well wanted to meet Matt. I can't remember his last name. Oh I've got it written down. Um I'll find it. I'll find it. I find it. <laughs> I find it. Uh, Matt Fraser, and I also met Clive Mantle, who was in Robin Hood's um, The Hooded Man, and it was also in Casual Scene, been a couple of things. But originally, I was only going to meet Matt for midnight because she wanted his autograph and she couldn't get over for for it. Um, but. I realised he was in um, The Golden Compass, the BBC TV show. And I loved that show. So I was like, oh, cool, yeah, I didn't actually realise. So I <laughs> went and met him for that. And I, I got a picture of him. I didn't get an autograph of him, but I got a picture of him because I think it was like for a bundle of a pitch, a selfie and an autograph. It was all like £25. So... <laughs> And then the week after that was 2258, which was the Babylon 5 convention. And I got to see Midnight Van Gecko, as she called it at the time. Um, it was amazing. Um, I loved Babylon 5 when I was younger. Um, and I watched it, but it wasn't a show I watched relig re religiously. Um, but I knew enough to talk about the show and to know the characters and things like that. So I went, plus there was, uh, well, like I said, I've, I've got notes written down because knowing me, I will forget stuff. The Scorgins, I think that's how you say last name, um, she was there as well and she played Cassandra in Highlander and she, I, I've never met, I've not met a lot of the Islander cast. If I, I've met a couple from the film, like I've met um, Christopher Lambert, who was in the film, who played Connor, and I've met the actress who played Heather, her name escapes me, and I've also met, uh, he played Rick in Casualty, again, my mind for names, it's an artistic thing, an artistic trait, um, but me names were terrible. Um, but he played Rick in Over City, and he played Midnight Calls Him Boom Boom from the Highlander film. And I've also met some of the Highlander Raven cast, but I've not met many of, in general, from Highlander. And um, there's probably like a couple, like, um, I did not realise they were there until after. It was like um, Anthony Stewart Head. I completely forgot he was in Highlander. And there's a couple of others who I've forgotten when they were in, been in, or I only realised after I've gone back and watched Highlander. Um, so to meet Tracy, that was really cool. She was, and she was lovely. She was so cool. Um, so, yeah, and... To actually see Midnight Van Gecko over meeting Jason Carter, it was awesome. I don't know why she calls it Van Gecko. I made it, I said something and she said, no, Van Gecko. So ever since she said that, I try and remember to say Van Gecko um, when I'm talking about Midnight. Um, yeah, so and I, I, did, I did go to 2258 for midnight and like, I knew enough of the shows to have an idea and it was an excuse to run the valley at midnight and then because after that um we went into lockdown so I've not 
Mealy scene, Ali Midnight, well, most of this year, which has been weird itself. Because um, again, we always try and make a point of meeting up, even if like it's just in Manchester, um, at least once every other month of every month. So we've not really had that um, to do. Um, and yeah, it's just been so weird. And then I've said we've only had two wrestling shows this year, like two GPW shows that I've been to. And then, of course, there's been other things that's happened, like we went into the uh, first lockdown. We had Ethan and Layla with us for a month because Danielle was working, uh, that's her mum. And, you know, so... And by the time we'd been having them quite a lot, so it was kind of like, it was easier for them to be here. Plus, Danielle had to try and work um, a schedule at work so they could be somebody at home with them because both her and her partner work. So we ended up having Ethan and Layla here for like, the start of lockdown, like the first few weeks of lockdown, they was here. Um, and we can, then my dad started being ill, um, which I'll come to later on. Um, so my dad said to be ill and then I was meant to be getting my university results which I did a whole video about um, in the end I got them and I ended up passing my I, my um, the first part of my diploma now I've completed my diploma now um, I'm doing a degree and that weekend, I was in for my exam results to come through. Uh, my friend Kim passed away. Um, and I was able to see Ali at midnight over my birthday, which was awesome. Um, and then 14th of September, I was meant to be starting, I started uni. And then the same day as I started uni, we found out that my dad's cancer had returned. The day I started back uni. So <laughs> I had to have that being taken in, that everything the teachers was telling me about the course and what we was going to be doing. And I mean, the fact that being told, like, my dad's cancer come back. Um, you know, and then 7th of November was when he passed away and we, me and my mum had to go into quarantine for 14 days at the time, I think it's up to 10 now, but we had to go into, we had to go into quarantine for 14 days because my dad had tested positive for corona as well. Um, so, yeah, this year has been just a strange one. Um, I also got to do two performances this year, um, both at the start. One was at college, sorry. it was our February showcase. I'm really sorry about the sweep that's going on. Um, I, I just completely forgot to turn the volume down. Um, I did performance at college. Um, and then I did one with what? A charity event, which we did to raise money for Wigan Artistic Theatre Company. And then, yeah, it just, every, this year, last year was just so strange. It started off so good. It started off really, really good. Um, it started off like, it felt like it's going to be a really good year this year, last year. I keep saying this year, uh, last year. But it was just, it just wasn't the best. And I, I kind of feel a little bit like, People had it worse than me, you know, so I, I've no reason to complain. I've, my, you, before I've lost my dad and I've lost Kim, but I still got my own help, you know, like there's people who's Sweet. not well at all. And, you know, the, it's, I, I just feel like it just sucked so much. Um, but hopefully, 
this year is going to be a lot better. I'll be able to see Ali at midnight more. I'll be able to have more fun again. Um, I'll be able to just get back to doing wrestling, be able to get back performing. I was meant to be doing a performance of Real as Fortune with the Artistic Creator Company, but because of lockdown, uh, that's been postponed. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be April, I think. Um, but even if we, we have to find a way of doing it another way, I think we will perform it somehow um but yeah I, I just hope that this year is a lot better for a lot of people and that so yeah i'm just i just feel like a little downhearted i sound again um i am trying to get back into my videos like i said it's uh, more making love again so but anyway for now i'm gonna say love you lots lots like jelly tots and i'm keeping them again weird bye see ya Thank <laughs> you.